Hey y'all, you got Doug Gore, Dougie Dew with Cajun Soft Wash. Uh, we're gonna talk about booster pump wiring. So how do you wire a three quarter inch uh, Dayton booster pump? Let's look at that first. When the booster pumps come in, they can be extremely intimidating, okay? So on this one here, this is a three quarter inch uh, Dayton booster pump. Let me see if I can zoom in and see if y'all can see any of this right here. So when it comes in, it comes in wired for high voltage and we wanna change this to low voltage, right? If you look, it's got L1, L2, P2, T3, T2. But what, of each, what do each of those mean? If you come down here, P2 is blue, T2 is red, and T3 is yellow. Okay, you don't need to get into what exactly all of that means. All you have to do is follow the color codes that are here, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, so as I look around, I come to Let's see if I can't move this pump a little bit easier. If I look here on the inside the wiring, I've got <coughs> the, uh, okay, I, obviously I've got these two yellows and I'm going to explain those. Those are L1, which is line one, L2, line two. And then we've got a blue wire, a yellow wire, and a red wire, okay? And if we look down inside here, there's a number four, a number three, a number two, and a number one, okay? So one, two, three, four, blue, yellow, red, line one and line two, okay? This is actually very, very simple. They just make it all confusing with all their numbers that are on there. So when we look at this, we're gonna look and we're gonna see blue, red, yellow, okay? For the high voltage, line one is at number one. For low voltage, line one is at number one. So we don't have to move that one. Same thing with line two goes to number four, line two goes to number four, okay? So we don't have to move anything with these two uh, lines that, that come with the, the pump. Now when we look, P2, right, goes to number two. If we come over here from the high voltage, it's already set P2 is on number two. So we don't have to do anything there. The only ones that we end up moving here, if you look between these two diagrams, is T3 and T2, okay? So T3 is on, excuse me, when it comes in, T3 is on uh, number three and it gets moved to number two. T2 is on number three and it gets moved to number four. Again, T3, we come down, is yellow. T2 is red, okay? All we have to do is move the yellow and the red wire, okay? And then all we have to do is watch the numbers that are associated with it. So right now, um, again, uh, so T2, which is the red, is on number three, and we're gonna move it to number four, okay? So the red, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off of number three, okay? Now we've got it off and we're gonna move it to number four. I'm trying to do this one-handed, there we go. Got that on there. All right, so we move the red over, right? Now we can come back over and we also have to move um, the yellow, which is T3, it's on number three, and we're gonna move it to number two, right? So number three, it's on number three, which is the yellow, Okay, and now we're gonna move it to number two. Okay, so that's it. We've, we have now changed the factory wiring from high voltage to low voltage, and now all we have to do is connect our uh, wiring to it. So I've already put uh, female connectors already on there, and I'll be able to run it through. And instead of using their wires here and splicing it together, I'm just gonna pull their wires off. If I could do this in the video here. Needle nose pliers would have been better than that. So I can just take their wire off and then I can turn around and put my wires on. I gotta get the grommet and everything on there as well so that I don't have any water going through. But that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I've shown you how to go from the high voltage to the low voltage. It's really, really very, very simple. Do not let it intimidate you. All you have to do, 
follow the wiring diagram that's on the pump. That's it. I uh, appreciate y'all for listening to me and Dougie do out.